Morning kids, happy Sabbath. Welcome to our backyard. We're so glad that you're here and you can join us. Do you know what our kids like to do in our backyard when we stay home in the holidays? They like to go to the shed and pull out our tent and then they pitch it and they get all our sleeping bags and they sleep in it for the night or two nights or the whole week. Our kids have been sleeping in it all week. They've had so much fun. I wonder what you guys have been doing in your backyard this week. Have you been, I don't know, have you built a fort or a cubby? Have you played in the mud? It's been raining. Have you, hmm, maybe you roasted some marshmallows or watched a movie on the back fence. If you'd like to share with us what you've been doing in your backyard this week, we'd love to hear. Just get mum and dad to pop it in the comments and tell us what you've been up to. We'd love to read what you've done this week. There's so many different things that we could do in our backyard that are fun, aren't there? We're all different. Jesus created us all different and we all like to do different things. Hey kids, can you come here? Here we go, all right. there's going to be a storm. Sound. Can you hear it? It, it sounds like a dog. I, is anyone there? Are you okay? It's okay. Is it I, over? I, yeah, I think it stopped. Who are you? My name's Jodine. Are you new here? Did you just move in next door? Yes, yes, yes. We just moved here not that long ago. What's your name? My name's Roscoe. Ah, it's nice to meet you, Roscoe. Nice to meet you too, Jodine. <laughs> Roscoe, are you afraid of thunder? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's scary. It's just so big and loud and it hurts my ears. Yeah. I, I can imagine that. It would be really loud, especially for you because you're a dog. Are you afraid of thunder? Well, sometimes if it's really loud, it is a bit scary. But... My ears are not as sensitive as your ears, being a dog and all. Well, think of it like this. My ears can hear a whisper from the front yard. So can you imagine how loud thunder is to me? 
Oh, wow. That must be really loud. Once I was so frightened that I tried to get away from the thunder, which I know sounds very silly, but it was so noisy. I ended up jumping over my fence and I ran down the street. You ran away from home? Well, sort of. It was more like I was running away from the noise because I thought it was, it was going to hurt me, but I couldn't get that far from it, and, and, and I ended up getting lost. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I ran and I ran, and eventually I got tired, and so I hid under a park bench. I just lay there hiding, and eventually... I heard my, my master Joshua's voice quietly from a distance. I could hardly make it out, so I pricked up my ears, and then I heard his voice calling my name. I crawled out from behind the bench, and I ran in his direction. We were both so relieved to find each other. Oh, I'm so glad that he found you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. My master is so good to me. I love him so much. He always takes care of me and keeps me safe. It sounds like he's a really good master. That reminds me of a story in the Bible. Do you want to hear it? Is there thunder in it? Well, yes, there is thunder. <laughs> but I, I think it has a happy ending. I think you'll like it. Well, okay. You seem like a safe person. Kids, come listen. Pastor Joe is going to tell us a story about Elijah. Hi, kids. I have a story for you today about a man whose name was Elijah. And Elijah was a prophet of the God of Israel a long, long time ago. And at that time, there was a king and queen in Israel who did not like God at all. In fact, they did all sorts of things to anybody who tried to do anything amazing for God. And so Elijah, being a prophet of Israel, he was not really in the good books with the king and queen especially with the queen. And one day the queen was so angry, she said that I'm going to catch Elijah and I'm going to do all sorts of nasty, terrible things to him. Well, Elijah had spent lots of times doing amazing things for God and he'd seen lots of really cool things. But in that moment, he was terrified. And so Elijah, he got up and he went, Whoo! And he started running and running and running and running and running. And he ran for 40 days, 40 days. And he hardly had any food. And then he was wanting to get as far away from Jezebel as possible. And so he thought, where can I go where Jezebel is going to be far, far away from me? And he thought, I know, I'll go where Moses went. Moses went to Mount Sinai. And in Elijah's time, Mount Sinai was called Mount Horeb. So Elijah goes all the way to Mount Horeb and he climbs and he goes in this cave and, and he's in this cave and he's hiding from Jezebel who's far, far, far away from him. And as he's sitting there, he hears God speak to him. And God says, what are you doing here, Elijah? And Elijah thought, what am I doing here? I've done all these amazing things for you, God, and done all these great things to bring people to you, and, and that Jezebel wants to kill me. She wants to do all sorts of terrible things to me and your people, and, and here I am, and I'm the only person left in the entire world who loves you, and believes in you. And then God said to Elijah, Elijah, go to the mount, go to the mouth of the cave. So Elijah got up and he went to the mouth of the cave. And 
As he went to the mouth of the cave, he heard this howling sound, this howling sound, and he saw what looked like a tornado forming, and there was wind blowing everywhere, and he had to hold on to the the rocks in front of him so he didn't blow away, and he was like, is that you, God? And But you know, God wasn't in the wind. Well, the wind stopped, and he was like, oh, that was really windy. And then suddenly, he was holding onto the rocks, and, and he started shaking all over the place. And he was like, what's going on? And there was rocks starting to fall down. There was avalanches happening outside of the mouth of the cave. And he, he went inside to keep safe, and he clung onto this rock on the ground. And he was like, is that you, God? And he didn't hear anything. And then the shaking stopped, and he felt like he was still shaking, even though the shaking stopped. And then suddenly he was like, it feels really hot. And suddenly, and all this fire went all over the mountain. And he was like, and he hid himself. And he was like looking outside and there was just flames everywhere. And the trees were burning and the grass was torched. It was like someone suddenly put a magnifying glass in front of the sun and shone it where Elijah was. And he was like, oh, is that you, God? And he didn't hear anything. And the fire stopped. And he was like, and then he heard, Elijah, what are you doing here? It was just a small voice. It was just a whisper, but it was God. And Elijah said, what am I doing here? I already told you. I did all these amazing things for you. And uh, Jezebel's after me. And I'm the only person left that loves you. And you know what? God probably shook his head when he heard Elijah tell that really, really sad tale after doing all those amazing things with the fire and the wind. But you know what? God kept Elijah safe. And God is always here to keep us safe. And he actually, even though he can do lots of big, noisy things to show us that he is the strongest, he always wants to make sure that we are not afraid of him and that he is always there for us. And so sometimes we just need to be quiet to hear his voice as he tells us what he wants us to do. So I hope you enjoy that story, and I hope it helps you to know that whatever happens, even when people are saying lots of nasty things, God is still going to keep us safe. And sometimes we just need to be quiet to listen to his voice. Thanks for listening, kids. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I also hope that it helps you when you're feeling a bit scared, whether that's at night, whether maybe when there's a thunderstorm. I know one dog who seems to be scared of thunder. But I hope that story will help you to know that God is looking after you and he's going to keep you safe. And sometimes when there's a lot of noise and a lot of scary things happening, the best thing you can do is just to be quiet and try to listen for his voice. Well, how was that, Roscoe? It wasn't too scary, was it? That Jezebel sounded scary. Scary like thunder. Well, yes, her voice is kind of scary. And it is a little bit like thunder with the words that she said. But with God's protection, she couldn't hurt Elijah, could she? Just like the thunder didn't hurt you. <laughs> yes, 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 that's true. Hmm. I like how God could be all the loud things if he wanted to. But he spoke to Elijah in a still, small voice, like a whisper. Yeah. It makes God sound like he could be big and loud if he wants, but he prefers to be gentle. I love that about God, too. I love that God prefers to be gentle. You're right, Roscoe. You're a really smart dog. Thank you, and you're a very kind person, Jody. Aww. I love people like you. Thanks, Roscoe. <laughs> and speaking of people I'd like to meet, that Pastor Joe seems like a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him. 
I just feel like we're connected or something like that. Hmm. Maybe you are somehow. Well, Roscoe, I think with God's help, you can learn to be courageous. When it comes to thunder or anything at all that's frightening to you, in fact, I think that God can help us all to feel courageous when we're afraid. You know, I think you're right. How about, how about we bring the kids back and we sing some songs about being courageous? Oh, that sounds like fun, 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 fun.
safe Do not fear the darkness for joining us here today in our backyard and we hope that you have a really happy Sabbath and we hope that you remember what Roscoe learnt today that we can be courageous when we have Jesus that we don't have to be afraid that we can listen to his still small voice and we can be okay have a happy Sabbath see you later